Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In this video we're going to consider a simple circuit and the components that make it up. This is the very beginning of understanding electrical circuits and it's not unusual to be asked in an exam to identify certain things that make up a circuit. So we'll bring the camera in, we'll have a look at a basic circuit that we'll build on our electronics board here and then we'll identify the different components. So here you can see on our electronics board we've built a very simple circuit. Now there's a few components that we need to be able to identify and we need to remember that there's more than one type of some of these components. So we'll have a little look at what we mean by that. So to start the circuit off we've got some kind of source of EMF. In this case we've got a DC power supply coming in and we've got here the symbol to represent a battery. So we've got a source of EMF of course this could be uh, something like a power supply coming into a property, into a, a dwelling or an industrial building. But we need to have something that is going to bring electricity into the circuit. We then have, moving around from there, some kind of overcurrent protection. So this is some kind of protective device for the circuit. Again, in this case, we've got a circuit breaker. We may well have a fuse or something similar to that, but, but there must be something that is going to protect the circuit from the detrimental effects of current flowing into it. We've then got, moving around the circuit, some kind of circuit control. In this case, we've got a switch. Again, there's different kinds, relays, contactors, etc. But in this case, we've got a simple switch. And then we have to have some kind of a load. And in this case, we've got a lamp. Now, very often you'll see in your electrical calculations, you'll see in place of uh, a lamp, the load will be represented simply by a resistor, which is a very common way of representing a load. So we could replace this lamp with a resistor for calculation purposes. All of these different devices are all connected up with conductors, and those are the parts that carry the electricity from the source to the load via the devices that we've spoken about. Now, as you can see as well, on this board, we've got the switch. The switch is currently open and therefore we say that this circuit is in the open position. In other words, there is no current flow. The current gets to this point and it cannot go beyond the switch because the switch is currently open. If we operate the switch, we can see that the lamp will operate and we now have what's called a closed circuit. We have made contact through the switch and the circuit is now closed. So let's remember those all important components. We might get asked about those in exam. We've got a source of EMF. We've got some kind of circuit protection. We've got circuit control. And we've got some kind of load. So try to remember these components and that's going to really help you out with your exams. Thank you very much for watching. 